Today I just want to talk about moving back to Africa and why so many millennials are moving back now because I see that's the thing. The reason I kind of started looking into this is because I felt like like that's what I've been feeling actually if I'm honest with you I've been kind of wondering like where do I belong where do I need to be because I was born and raised in England I spent some time in Uganda I spent a little bit of time in France I spent a little bit of time in Iceland as well these are places that I really felt felt quite good to me you know I have been thinking like where will I really be and I've kind of settled on the idea that I need to live in multiple multiple places to really find out. After that thought, <laughs> I started thinking about where else would I want to be? What brought me back to that thought, the thought of Africa is number one, the connection, the family aspect. Number two, it's home. And number three, guys, Uganda is beautiful. It has its lows, it has its poverty, but it also has the more touristic areas and the very inspiring areas as well, you know? And so I just kind of really wanted to touch on this topic, like, hmm, why is it that many people seem to be going back to Africa? Is it because of the reasons I've just stated there? Probably, it could be. So yeah, I've got just a few points. The first point is moving back to Africa or moving to Africa is being normalized. We see so many people People move to Africa or move back to Africa people like the diasporians they make it home and it's normalized it's not like you know sometimes when your parents used to like threaten you like if I send you back to Africa I'm gonna send you to boarding school now in our adult years we are being we are choosing to go back to Africa and to go to Africa and I've also noticed black people black Americans going back to Africa I've noticed Caribbean people going back to Africa and I've even had people message me telling me that they are you know they want to move to Africa when I was in Uganda I did meet a lot of foreigners who have just decided this is home <laughs> this is home I've not always thought that hey Africa is not somewhere you go you know no to Africa but I've just thought that it's never like been a clear option for me and I'm not saying it's now a very very you know clear option but I just kind of want to you know touch on this topic because maybe it will be in the future I don't know but moving to Africa is being normalized and to some extent I feel like it is being glamorized a little bit but it's about time Africa gets more exposure from Africans and especially diasporians just basically showing that it is possible and my second point is that you know it really does take one good example or maybe even one success story to get people confident about this idea of moving back home you really have to see it being done by somebody else to feel like this is definitely an option for me to have one person doing something and then another person following the first follower and then all of a sudden you have a crowd of people uh, moving in that direction and that really is what it is it just takes that one person the second person to follow up and then for everyone else it just seems to catch on and so I believe this is another reason why people feel like this is a very viable option you know my third point about Millennials and diasporians moving to Africa is that it is actually going home it's not moving to Africa it's not moving to Africa it's actually going home and said like that it just feels like the most natural and intuitive thing even for those people who are now you know americans even for them i would say they could actually call it going home that's fine uh, my fourth point is that you know it has been a long time coming with all the race issues going on in the world um, it, it starts to chip away at you slowly 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 and one day you you really find yourself thinking why these race issues have been normalized so much to the point that we are putting up with it despite being born and raised here despite being born and raised here speaking the language and everything and yet somehow we're still being treated like outsiders this has been the slow chipping i think it was like two weeks ago i was at the supermarket and i was accused of stealing as i walked out with grapes in hand this white man followed me outside the supermarket and he was like you did not pay for those i actually got it on video he's like you did not pay for those i said how do you know how do you know that i've not paid for these you know i was just like entertaining it i was like how do you know i wanted to see what he would what he would come up with he was like you did not pay for those I was like how do you know I, I just saw you I, I saw you did not pay for them I said what makes you think that he said, I, sh I know I saw you didn't pay I was like I paid for them he's like no you did not pay I said excuse me do you work for this supermarket he said actually I do he was even off 
it was he was with his son he was in the queue uh, he had like 10 bags of, 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 sh of baskets or like he had so much shopping with him he was with his son and I remember when in the aisle I was in the aisle with them in one of the aisles uh, I think it was like the cosmetics aisle or something and they were talking about summer holidays and how they've got a picnic coming up sports day next thing you know he's accusing me of being a thief and for some reason I just noted that conversation and then this is the same man who followed me outside and so it's like slow chipping you know so he was he kept accusing me then he told me he works he was even his off day I think he works in head office he's not actually one of the supermarket like on the till or anything like that maybe part of a different department but he, I feel like he was like doing his off duty duties you know then I thought to myself this is my chance I took out my phone made sure I got this on camera he showed me his card from a distance or whatever supermarket card I said to him okay this is my opportunity took my camera out and uh, started recording I said this is my receipt showed him the receipt I didn't even have to show him I think this is the reason why a lot of Millennials and diasporians and basically black people in general seem to be moving back to Africa these incidents keep happening and it really takes a toll on your spirit at some point you just want to be free you just want to live he got embarrassed when he noticed that actually I was filming he's like you don't have to film to show me a receipt nowadays I just capture this stuff on camera because you know you need to have proof before people start gaslighting you about certain things that doesn't happen this doesn't happen blah 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 I believe the chipping away this chipping this chipping this chipping is causing people to realize that wait a minute do I really belong it feels like a little bit of oppression in a way so my fifth point is Africa nowadays is being seen more as a touristic destination by black people as opposed to just a place where we go to see family and friends maybe some of you can relate to this and maybe some of you have only ever traveled back to see family to see friends or maybe even for celebrations but you've never really explored whereas other people have been exploring <laughs> and exploiting Africa for years and years and years do you know what i mean because they know it is a gold mine so africa is being seen more as a tourist destination as opposed to just a place that we go home to visit which is nice and i believe this is another reason why i guess the only thing that has really been stopping me from moving back to africa and when i say moving back to africa i actually mean africa not just uganda africa in general because i have always had this desire to explore different countries in africa so i feel like other countries are not off limits i think the one thing is maybe the feeling 100% safe you know uh, freedom obviously if people are doing it if Millennials and diasporians are living there and even locals are living there it must be safe to some degree and I've obviously spent months at a time there and I was fine of course I didn't go during the war times I went during like you know the peaceful times but I guess that's the one thing that kind of stops me when I think about you know being 100% free let's not pick at specifics just say general infrastructure number one and two general peace of mind kind of like that freedom I think when you do go back to Africa if you are planning to move there you really do have to have some element of you have to be a bit streetwise you know you have to be streetwise you have to be smart and you have to kind of adapt a different kind of demeanor in a way and you just basically need to adapt <laughs> you need to adapt and so yeah I mean I hope that has made sense to you I just wanted to touch on this topic because I see a lot of people moving back to Africa Millennials diasporians and I even see a lot more Africans living in Africa promoting their local areas promoting their towns promoting their cities promoting the country which is great and i love it i love it i'm here for it so ah question for you have you ever thought about moving back to africa is it on the cards for you are you african millennial diasporian are you american are you a black american are you someone who has are you caribbean are you not black are you non-black and do you consider going to africa to live you know to actually live because to visit is one thing and to live is like another thing you really have to have a love for it but I think to choose to make that choice to move there you've got to have you know some sort of heart for it you know so I hope you've enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next video all right bye